फाइव पीपल डेड ओवर फिफ्टी इंजर्ड सिक्सटीन हॉस्पिटलाइज इन द शिकागो शूटिंग वॉट हैपन हाउ डू द अलर्ट्स रियली कम फ्रॉम द सिक्योरिटी एजेंसीज टू टेल पीपल सो आर दे सपोज टू टेक कवर गो इन साइड हडल बिकॉज दिस वॉज अ क्राउडेड सिनारियो a uh, very good question puja uh, uh, yes absolutely there's a, there's a very clear cut protocol for first responders and police who are on the scene uh, uh, also the uh, you know there will be paramedics also on the scene obviously to remove the injured and the uh, you know and the bodies of the dead uh, but at this point of time the priority will be to contain the you know uh, bring most uh, everyone to safety as quickly as possible uh, and uh, of course the priority number one is to is to eliminate the shooter at all costs uh, it's not to capture the shooter it's to kill the shooter as yes. quickly as possible because uh, you know uh, risk cannot be taken about any more bullets being fired so there's a very clear cut protocol to try and get everyone physically to safety if possible get them indoors because this is as you as you can see a you know a residential sort of uh, yes. sort of neighborhood in suburban chicago uh the other the other the other priority is to cordon off the area entirely because if the killer hasn't been caught yet uh, then you know check posts will be set up there will be a cordon and search operation if this is a built up area as it obviously is then the you know then the shooter uh, you know has a lot of hiding places and uh, you know will be able to get away quite quickly uh, so all of these protocols will come into force there will be backup there will be uh, you know a perimeter security mm. around the entire block and neighborhood as well to make sure that at no at, at no opportunity is this uh, shooter allowed to actually get away from that circumference surrounding the neighborhood so all of these come into effect very very quickly the sad part is uh, america has a lot of experience in dealing with shootings after they happen they have failed miserably in preempting shooting they've uh, failed miserably in legislating uh, you know uh, access to firearms they failed miserably in you know regulating the gun manufacturing industry but what america is really good at is responding to mass shootings Correct. simply by virtue of having had so many of them so the police the paramedics the first responder services uh, you know all of these services are okay. very very quick they've yes. got a very very tight protocol in how to respond uh, shiv uh, please stay on with me because india today is the only channel ensuring that we get minute by minute updates of this absolutely nightmare of uh, development coming in Uh, apart from Shiv, who continues to be with me, I'm also joined by Gaurav Savant right now on this telecast. Gaurav, how can a country not wake up when there's one by one incidents of mass shooting at absolutely family occasions that are taking place, and an active shooter still at large? Gaurav, the active shooter still at large is a big cause of concern as of now. Uh, there are reports that are filtering in right now, Pooja, that seem to indicate that there has been some retaliatory firing uh, by the security forces, by the police uh, in Chicago, in Illinois, um, at the Highland Park. Even as we speak, um, information that seems to suggest that the death toll uh, could go higher. Officially, they've confirmed five. The figure could go up to nine and even higher. Is the apprehension the number of injured, uh, according to some reports, has crossed fifty? Uh, and this is the by NBC itself. Nine dead, 50 shot on, on the 4th of July uh, shooting is being reported even as we speak. So it is a cause for great concern. As you very rightly pointed out, gun controls or the lack of it, uh, you know, is America's Achilles heel uh, at this point. Yes. And the nation is split down the middle uh, on the issue of gun control. Uh, while uh, the government may attempt it, the gun lobby is so strong that they haven't uh, had. Uh, Uh, you know any tangible success in being able to uh, bring in gun control uh, despite repeated shootings including at schools and like parades like this including the 4th of july parade puja uh, also it's important to understand here that uh, apart from school shootings gorav today would have been no ordinary weekend it was a day of celebration for the americans so at this Jul july 4th parade uh, there would have been uh, some level of security likely but perhaps nobody was expecting that this would lead to such a scale of killing and these are terrible visuals coming in so what happens at these moments because if there is no security where you're not expecting a, such an incident to take place right now we know that the active shooter is at large there's an alert that has gone but what a nightmare of a situation even for the security deployed there would you absolutely right it's a nightmare situation uh, the chicago police uh, uh, department is concerned uh, they have been able to uh, from one information one bit of information that's filtering in they have been able to identify the spot from where the shooter was on top of a building uh, helicopters have been roped in helicopters are being used uh, to isolate that uh, the shooter in one area but apparently he's no longer on that rooftop 
uh, there was retaliatory firing. Was, was there any success in retaliatory firing? We still do not know at this stage. But you're right, it's a nightmarish situation because the crowds that were there, uh, people of Chicago, and, uh, you know, un unlike the Republic Day Parade in India, which is a tightly controlled affair on Rajpath, in the United States of America, you have parades in every city uh, and people sit on either side of the road, uh, uh, you know, and, and they watch it, which is what was happening in Highland Park. Uh, even the images that you see, uh, school children participating, a band going past, floats going past, and suddenly uh, people hear this this staccato of, uh, of firing and a burst of fire. It's apparently a semi-automatic weapon uh, which repeatedly, uh, you know, uh, burst out uh, with, with which uh, at least 50 to 40 rounds of ice injuring several people. The shooter apparently only stopped to reload. And that is where people started running helter-skelter. Um, we still do not know whether the shooter has been uh, isolated or caught, but that area has now been cordoned off Puja. An absolutely horrific tragedy on the July 4th parade in Chicago, a suburb there, and the active shooter accordingly right now is still at large. I want to thank Gaurav Savant and Shivaroor for the latest on that.